All right, here we are for the final round, and we finally won a die roll, so let's hope for a good hand here. Uh, this hand's reasonable. We'll keep. We have our hexproof creatures, auras, and some good lands. I generally like to lead with Glade Cover Scout. It's about the same as Slippery Boggle, but if my opponent has a card like Spreading Seas, I can uh, cast the uh, Boggle off an island. Alright, well, this would have been a nice game to have Leyline. Uh, well, Spirit Mantle is more powerful. I would I would suspect Rancor gets taken. You can abrupt decay Spirit Mantle and get rid of it forever. Rancor just sticks around. Uh, we do have protection against Liliana's this game. So if my opponent does want to take Slippery Boggle, I do have a Dryad Arbor here. So my guess is he takes Rancor. I would say Rancor, maybe Spirit Mantle. And I hope he takes Slippery Boggle. Okay. Took Spirit Mantle, so I get to Rancor, and I guess I'll show him that I have a Razor Virtue Thicket. Alternatively, I can play my guy off Canopy. Save Razor Virtue Thicket to discard to Liliana later, because I do want both these lands at some point. So I'm taking an extra point of damage to hide my hand, and... Maybe keep Razor Verge to discard later. I guess this might lead him to use a discard spell. I don't know. Scavenging news. Scavenging news is bad news. Because that can eat my rancor. Alright, so this is asking for a blowout, but gotta do it. So he can abrupt K rancor, eat it with ooze, and that will just decimate me. So I guess we'll hope he doesn't have. Well, he won't be able to eat the rancor permanently, because he has this tap land. Um. I'm going to grab Dried Arbor, I guess. Really hope to draw another aura of some kind. Nope. So I'll set Canopy and look for one. Um, okay, so that's not great. But... Hmm. I think I'll just swing with this guy by himself. I am expecting an abrupt decay here. So, he'll be able to eat my creature if he does have that. But he won't be able to eat the Rancor, which is good. And I'll just play out a couple more guys. And we'll try to grind through this. I actually want to play the Rancor down so he can't discard it. I don't know if a suicide attack with everyone next turn would get the job done anyways. Opponent has a Corsair revealing Liliana. Nice. No land though. And we draw Basic Plains, which doesn't let us swing past Corsair, so that's not good. Alright, so I guess I'll play out my hand. And pass turn.
So I'm guessing my opponent's playing a Siege Rhino. Oh, he has Path. Uh, that's interesting that he's pathing me there. So I guess he's using the Edict. So I'll sacrifice Slippery Boggle. I'm still looking for a good aura here. Daybreak's decent. Um, so now I have to decide if I want to kill Liliana or swing at my opponent. Um, I think I'll swing at my opponent. It does force him to chump lock. And Liliana can't eat it next turn anyway, so I have no cards in hand either. I'll, yeah, force him to block with the Corsair. And we're getting blown out by another... Abrupt K here. This time he can actually eat the Rancor if he has the Abrupt K, which is bad. Uh, Leyline was a pretty good draw. Uh, the question is, do I attack with my creature? If he um, has a uh, abrupt K, he can eat my creature. He wouldn't be able to eat Rancor, but if I play Leyline out, <laughs> he can plus Liliana to uh, make me discard it. But in the grand scheme of things, I think think I will attack. My opponent. And hope he doesn't have a abrupt guy. Okay, yeah, I guess I didn't see this, that he could uh, grow his ooze to be able to eat my creature. And I guess I'll play Leyline out so he can't uh, Liliana me, but he is going to get to eat my Rancor, which is unfortunate. Hmm. Maybe uh, not attacking would have been the best there. He had an extra Liliana, so this ley line was pretty good. So he could have double edicted me there. I'm at 35, so I do get <coughs> some draw steps, though the ooze is going to get big pretty quickly. Yep. So I guess my opponent's playing a Siege Rhino or something. Or just pumping it up and playing something else. And we're just looking for a string of good ores here. Uh, that's not good at all. Alright, we'll just sit here for a while until we draw ores. My opponent's on a pretty quick clock, too. He might be able to kill me in three swings. Maybe even two. Yeah, this is one of the worst matchups. Need the ley line in my opening hand. So it couldn't inquisition me earlier.
Um, had I realized that the ooze could have grown and killed my guy, I probably wouldn't have swung. So, that was a mistake. Alright. I'll play out Spirit Dancer, which gives me a decent shot to win if he doesn't have a removal spell for it. And by decent shot, I mean a shot. A shot. Not a decent shot. But it does let me chain a couple words together in one turn. I got another slow opponent. I'm sorry, everybody. Really would have liked to play against uh, Burn Deck or something. These, mat these matches are taking much longer than they should be. Um, I can chump the Scavenging Goes next turn if needed. Didn't attack with his Wildwood. Okay, so he has a path. Yeah, we're not looking good here. Spirit Mantle would be a good start. Hey, Numbra. Um. Um. Mm, yeah. I don't have really a shot to win this game. I can uh, block the ooze, but I can't really draw anything past that. There's not really any aura that can get me out of this. Uh, yeah, this is a bad matchup. We're just going to hope to have ley lines in both of our openers and hope that's good enough. But this deck is somewhat pre boarded for this matchup, so I'll just keep it as is. Don't even want Path to Exiles. So if I had uh, not attacked with my creature and played Leyline out, <coughs> it looks like he wouldn't have drawn an answer to my Daybreak guy for a while, so I could have maybe uh, had a couple turns to draw another aura that would let me push past all of his stuff. So that was definitely a mistake. I was, was not thinking about that, and that might have cost me that game in a tough matchup where you want to your wins are going to be very very close and All right, so we'll be on the plane hopefully have a ley line and a hexproof creature okay well, this is a very good hand. We have a ley line. We have tons of creatures, four to be exact. Good amount of lands, and we don't have auras, but uh, we have a lot in the deck. We just need to draw one to get the ball rolling. So we'll start them off hot and fresh with a Glid Cover Scout. Alright, did not draw an aura. Hopefully draw one next turn. Uh, opponent has broke decay, so hopefully draw an aura here. Not draw an aura. I'll just play out all my creatures. I could hold the Spirit Dancer for the turn I draw the aura. 
So you cannot discard it from my hand because I have Leyline. So my hand was good, but I did need to draw into some of my auras to get the ball rolling. Haven't done so thus far. Okay, so opponent may or may not have a path here. Did not have a path, and I drew a spirit mantle, so that is good. I'm going to spirit mantle a hexproof creature. Don't want to risk getting pathed down the line. And drew another hexproof guy. I'll just keep playing out all my cards. Now Liliana's plus can't take any cards from me, which is good. Uh, hopefully my opponent has a lot of... Uh, what happened here? Dismember? Oh, okay. He ate a uh, Spirit Dancer from my graveyard. That is right. So my opponent fetched the forest, which leads me to believe he has maybe like a Corsair Crucifix in his hand. I guess I'll fetch a Dried Arbor and triple block his creature. Is that right? That might not be right. If he has a path, then I get blown out. Actually, I'm fine with that also, because it leaves my Spirit Dancer alive if he has a path. So I'm going to triple block. He can't Abrupt K any of my... I guess he can Abrupt K the uh, Spirit Dancer and then eat it, so I won't block yet. So, I need to draw some good auras here, because looks like we might have a Siege Rhino on the horizon. And we draw land. So I guess I'll leave my guy back to block this turn. Siege Rhino, on the other hand, cannot block for a while. Sucks that Leyline doesn't stop the uh, drain from Siege Rhino because it says each opponent. Okay, now I'm actually going to gang block. I just need to buy some time for the Spirit Dancer to get going. It does give him some fuel for ooze, but uh, I'll still have the Spirit Mantled creature to block it later if needed. My extra creatures don't matter too much here. Just need to buy draw steps, as mentioned. And hopefully he's drawn a bunch of discard spells. That's what we're hoping a bunch of these cards are here. Um, I suspect my opponent's thinking about if they want to abrupt case spirit dancer now or not. 
No, they didn't, and I drew an Arland. Alright, so I'll leave my guy back. Uh, if my opponent had a Brupt K, he could have blown up Spearman last turn. <clears throat> to, uh, basically eat my whole squad. So he might not have the Abrupt K. He's inquisitioning himself to put a sorcery in the graveyard for Tarmogoyf. So he drew one discard spell. Um, I'll block uh, the scavenging ooze because it can get bigger. And take four. So should I sack this fetch land? I'm going to seven, and he can swing <clears throat> for seven. So it doesn't hurt my clock or his clock. And yeah, we'll just hope to draw some mores here. The more the merrier. Okay, Rancor's a good start. Um so let's see, I can put it on a scout to give it four power, so if he does attack with everything, I can eat uh the wild wood and then chump or I can put it on spirit dancer to make it a 4-4 and that can also eat the wild wood so yeah that'll I think that'll do better because I kind of want to just make a huge creature here if I can okay so we got the yield all set up still and we drew another aura which is good and we'll throw that one on the Spirit Dancer as well. Rising Canopy. Sacrifice that. Look for another Aura. And we find one. A Spider Umber, even. I think we put it on the Spirit Dancer. Makes us pretty vulnerable to path, but path probably gets us anyways. And the spider bird doesn't really add much to the scout. Okay. Um, and then I believe we leave our squad back this turn. And we did draw a creature, which isn't the worst, because it might allow us to attack and then do a chump on a following turn. So, uh, worst case scenario, my opponent drew a path to exile. So if he has a path, it gets rid of this, he can eat the Rancor. He won't be able to attack with this, so he won't have lethal, because he doesn't have enough white. Uh, Liliana making me discard my creature. Okay. That creature would have been nice again, so I could uh, swing with Spirit Dancer this turn, but at least we have at least a couple of draw steps, possibly. And we draw a land. Okay. So I guess uh, we'll pass turn. My opponent does draw a removal spell for Spirit Dancer that. Exiles, uh, that'll be bad. I will be dead on board if he does. That's what I mean to say. We'll be dead on board. Uh, opponent draws a maelstrom pulse. Okay. Um, so I think he got a mouse from Pulse Leyline and edicted me to kill me. Because I believe Dried Arbor's already been used. So, opponent missed a kill there. Okay.
My guess is he would swing with everyone here. I would eat the uh, Tarmogoyf with the Spirit Dancer if he did. Um, how many creatures are in the graveyard? We have a Siege Rhino, and is that it? So I could double block. So you can make his guy an 8-8. Double block, I lose the Spider Umbra. But he loses his ooze. Sounds good to me. The ley line does stop uh, Liliana's ultimate also, just to note. Alright, and I can sack this because I can still, uh, well actually I don't, I don't think I want to sack it. If I sacrifice it, I'll go to 5 and I'll have to block Tarmogoyf. Whereas, at the moment I can block the Wildwood without my guy dying. Take 5 if I need. So, I, I guess I don't sacrifice it. Draw a creature. So I'll play it out. And hope my opponent doesn't draw another Juggernaut card like Maelstrom Pulse. Okay, draws a land. So yeah, my opponent did miss a kill this game, so I'm on a, sort of a free roll here. Um, I'll take five from Tarmogoyf, though. It does leave me to do a uh, Siege Rhino later, but I can jump next turn if needed. Draw our land. Okay. So yeah, drew, drew too many lands. Can't really draw this many lands against this kind of deck. Didn't draw enough auras. I had a good, good starting hand that needed to draw into the cards that were in my deck. I, I drew four auras through almost half my deck. Yeah, most of my deck is auras at the moment, but. Opponent's enemy in Wildwood, so he must. Interesting. And Storm. Uh, sweet. Alright, well, uh. This makes it pretty much game over. He can Liliana my Rancor. Yeah. This, this is what happens in these kind of matchups. You board in Leyline and they draw one discard spell. Alright, so I guess I went 2-2. Two and two. Pretty bad matchup here. I even had a really good hand, but yeah. It's just all their cards are live. And that'll do it. Thanks for watching.